I can't wait. This is one of my favorite parts of Night in the Woods. It's the astronomy time. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Previously, May had a dream. She smashed stuff, and now there's new things open in town. Like this. Mr. Chazakov is ready for astronomy time, but it's kind of more daylight out. We don't have a lot of time. We got other things to do today. Yeah, I know. Really impolite. Look, you don't even own this building. You shush. Go back to your porch. We got an invitation to look at stars. And we came to look at stars. They're hunting the dusk stars. Is, is that what they, they call it? I thought it was birthday zone. But what are dusk stars? Please tell the non-non-humans in the audience. They do not come out at night. They come out just before the sun sets. Or just after the sun sets. I don't know how dusk works. So these stars you could barely see, unless you've got special equipment. They're only visible for a few weeks in the spring and the fall. Humans took all the cool night stars. Except for the zodiac. We got the leftover stars. We're gonna take a look at dust, dusk stars. How can it. I'm having problems saying that today. Dusk stars. Dusk stars. Dusk. St ah! So, uh, thanks for that. Thanks for making us blind. May doesn't understand filters. You have to do this for her. Well, May's now blind. The rest of the night in the woods is going to be stumbling around. She'll have to get another journal to cure the blindness. I thought it was obvious. Alright, time to look for dusk stars. Look at all these dusk stars all over the place. I'm pretty sure these stars don't exist. These are just, like... Fake stars. Or maybe May's eyes are damaged. I'm not sure. There seems to be little shadowy stars here, but um, this telescope seems to only react to certain kinds of stars. Like that one! Which star is this, I wonder? It's Dor the Murderer. What a lovely mythology we have. What? He was being polite. Why did he take offense to him not being... speaking? Because I know someone got beheaded for speaking. Ugh, royalty, entitlement, that kind of thing. Oh boy! Very rude, King. What did the chickens do? They are kind of awful, though. They're, they're li little feathery lawyers. Horrible, angry dinosaurs. Yep, that's exactly what chickens are. Yeah, they like to deceive each other and get in big fights. There's no such thing as a pecking order, though. I don't know why someone thought that up. They deserve to be delicious for being jerks. They have a deservingness for deliciousness. If that's even words. So, obviously, when you insult things, they die on you. Suddenly. So we killed everything the king loved. Oh, you don't say! I wonder why. And maybe don't get a tattoo of this guy. Or maybe you'll get a tattoo of exactly this image right here. That sounds very May. Eh, I guess, maybe, he did get his revenge. I can't really say. I, I mean, insulting and beheading someone? Kind of different ends of the spectrum there. Well, he kind of deserved it. I have mixed feelings here. The king was kind of a jerk. He brought it on himself. 
it's up to your interpretation there. Let's see if we can find any other dust stars. Maybe someone else is getting murdered around here. Hey, any uh, people that died or killed other people and then died and then they became a star? Hmm, nothing over in that direction. This telescope doesn't have much of a range, I gotta say. That reminds me, I'm going camping in like two weeks. I'll have lots of times to look at stars. I wonder if a phone could take a picture of stars. That's something to think about. Ah, here we go. I see you have one of those star sighters that are very specific about what star you're sighting. Oh, this looks lovely! Castus. It totally is Castus. What is a Castus? Teach me how to. Ah, so it's another Tower of Babel situation. Well, the gods are jerks then. They're very selfish. That is kind of messed up. Yeah, so it's another one of those, um... What's her name? Quinona. And she got beheaded and she was still talking. It's that kind of mythology. I hope not to. I, I hope they invent robot bodies so I live forever. Download my brain into something. Never die. May is the kind of person that will say this. She is incredibly stubborn. She will be eternal. Yeah, and then you'll be thrown into the ocean with them. Absolutely no death. We're defying nature itself. What, what about the other stars in the sky? I, I see plenty of stars there. There's one right by Castus. Ah. So fleeting. Well, I guess we'll see more dust, dust stars on a later date. I love astronomy. Let's do it again. Two more days. Absolutely. I will make sure to remind her. No one could resist the stars forever. You're one of us now, May. You are now an astronomer. I hope you enjoy it. Look on the bright side. You're like Adina Astra now. You'll, you'll make a skeleton friend and defy a forest god. It'll be barely visible. Now she has doodles of Dor and Castor. Castus. Castor is a different star. Yeah, it's in a constellation, a human constellation. I wonder if some people know about Castor and Pollux. And not the mythology, the stars. So there's plenty of things to do around here now. Lots of things. As you can see, the streetlight has been rebuilt. Also, the church is open. Well, maybe we should check in on the church, see what's going on. We heard about gods and such today. There's going to be a lot of things in town now. Not completely open, but I'd say about maybe like 75 to 80% open. Eh, let's not go to the church just yet. Which, if I remember correctly, this is called, um... First Coalescence? Yep, there it is. Also, we have a, a statue of Rubello just sitting out in front. Hey, Rubello, how you doing? Not breathing fire today, I see. Let's see, Sunday services. This is currently Tuesday, so none of this applies. But they're gonna have bingo later. Okay, that's good. And also, if you want to come to the Transform, it will turn you into a person that likes going to church. Maybe. I wonder what's out in this direction. Hello. What's going on here? It's a... it's a forest hobo. He's a nice forest hobo. I like him already. Such a nice lady. I wonder what her name is. Ah, you must be a member of the church then. Only church folks speak like that. And they got plenty of blankets! 
So, uh, what's up? You're, you're speaking stars, I like you. Hey, we need to talk now. I think he was talking about hot dogs, but we interrupted him. Hey, how you doing today? So, Maze Mom is named Candy. Uh, at least I don't have to call her Maze Mom anymore. Pastor K! So, you're the. the uh, the, would you really call it father? Or mother? Maybe we should just go with pastor. I like syllables. So she's new in town. She was here after May left. Because May's been gone for like about two years or so. And this is Bruce, the forest hobo. How you doing, Bruce? I kind of like that guy. Nice, well-mannered, not stabbing anybody. Not, not ranting and drawling. That's kind of rude, May. It's pretty obvious. No oh, good! Such a kind-hearted person. God's a doer. Well, I don't know about that. The city council's old and bitter. I like Pastor K. Pastor K is a good person. Yep, yeah, we're gonna be visiting that next, just after we have a chat with Bruce. See you later, Bruce! Since he's living next to a church, would that make him Bruce Almighty? Inappropriate joke. Just Bruce. I like that name. Now that we all know each other, I'm Armored Chocobo. Hester K is a good person. We need more of those. And also Bruce. Just Bruce. So, I'm gonna go check off in this direction. N nice, uh, forest house you got here. Ah, yes, the Possum Springs Water Tower. Oh, that didn't stop you from doing the power lines thing. She'll get to it eventually, when she's like 50. Ah, Brittle's nearby. I've been hearing that Brittle's a city. I'm not buying it. It's just a really, really big town to me. There's only like 14,000 people there. You know, animal people. Nope, looks like we left the music zone. There's no speakers out here. So if you ever want peace and quiet, this is where you go. Look, see all the teenagers who come here. Oh, that was fun. Back into the music zone. I like how the, the, the music cuts off right there. Makes it a solemn moment. So let's check inside the church. Pastor K is busy talking with Bruce, which means there's probably not some kind of mask going on. You could just walk right in. It is technically public property. Or at least uh, government property even though the, the whole separation of church and state thing. It's complicated. Welcome to church! Welcome to Candy! She works at the church. Well, that explains why you uh, like God so much. Hey Candy, how you doing today? I learned your name. Pastor K told me though, so I wasn't creepy. Yeah, nice to visit once in a while. Yeah, she's really nice! And a homeless guy, a forest hobo! You didn't know about forest hobo? I actually know a, a drifter, well, not personally, but I know he exists. He, he used to go to the old mall before they closed it. And uh, he used to come in the Kmart I was working at at the time. Now he arrives at the Pan Panther once in a while. I didn't know his name, so I, I just... Uh, Kind of marked him with the nickname Hobo Joe. His actual name is Malcolm. I heard that a, a pastor's helping him out too, so it's going around. Yep, all the nice in the world, right in one spot. How's church going? 
What kind of phone calls and data are you getting for a church anyway? And a church app. Worship on your phone. They're going to live stream their masses. Really? Well, I didn't know that. I didn't even know there was a church administration. I just I thought you guys just willy-nilly things. They're doing online tutorials. How to worship. She's as responsible as May is. Adults are just big kids at heart. I'm sure he will. Anything else today? You gotta go back to watching true crime videos. Alright, see you later. Can't go into the church, though. Not allowed. Not right now, anyway. We will eventually. I'm sure that's where uh, Pastor K likes to hang out. Then we might be getting uh, a couple of videos out of the town exploration this time. Like I said, it's big. This is a whole new area right up here. And this thing. What is that? We saw one on top of the click clack, but we can't reach it yet. Let's just uh, twirl this thing. A weather station, maybe. Maybe there's a weather balloon in here. <laughs> Let's not get into that, May. Manhood takes 12 years to make. Or is that childhood? I don't even know that meme now. These are really manly windmills, let me tell you. And now you're a man. Congratulations. Did we just launch like a flat weather balloon? Kind of weird. What the heck happened to this one? I don't understand what you're saying, lady. I'm just looking at the headless stalker bomb. Someone really didn't appreciate him staring at people. Also, we have two stalker dom. Shut up, dog. You're a dog. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we have two stalker bomb statues in this town. So they really went overboard when they were making up for the statue budget thing. And a lot of teenagers have been up here as well. Hey, rude. It's only two years after I was born, too. People don't like Possum Springs. I think it's okay. I came in here from a place worse than Possum Springs. It was a farming town. You would look around at all the things that I've been blessed with, you'd be doing the John Travolta meme from Pulp Fiction. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing going on there. I prefer Possum Springs. Unpopular opinion. Hey, Lori got up here. What's up, Lori? Hey, it's us. Yeah, especially when they put that street light in. Imagine how hard it would have been otherwise. Yeah, 20 years. Time to dig the coffin. Time to uh, build the grave. Huh, so you're only five years younger. And May is 12 years younger than me. Boy, I feel old. You don't say, from all the graffiti. Chestnut Street. I'm not familiar with that street. Oh, it's by the railroad tracks. Yeah, I think I might have seen that neighborhood. Yeah, she's kind of out outside the town. This is the railroad tracks go past the west end of town as you're going out towards Brittle. Yeah, it's tracks. Oh boy, that rich neighborhood! We'll see a picture of town eventually, and I could point out how Possum Springs looks from above. So it's not a rich neighborhood. We call it the rich neighborhood because the buildings are like um, newer. They got a skate park up there that no one uses. So it's not really that rich. They got a swimming pool up that way too. There's a Pokemon gym near it. Wow, th that stressed her out. Unnecessarily. That's well, okay, Laurie. Everyone's a little weird in this town. 
Let's take it easy for a bit. Looks like you haven't been out of, town, out of town for quite a while, except for, you know, the the whole college thing. Wow, you're really close. That sounds like it will be rather a surprise. Well, see you later, Lori. This is one of the hangouts you can do today. It doesn't really take away any time, but it's nice to learn about Lori. Ah, please don't use that nickname anymore. It makes her upset. Then she smashes things in her brain. Also, stop talking about that. It's uh, a little weird. Also, another weather machine! Now you were a double man! What are those things? Are they like secret messages to aliens? Also, we could triple jump our way up onto that. It's gonna be a little difficult. Let me see if I can try it. Mm. There is a way to do it. Maybe we should do it from here. Yes, you can stand on this! People have gotten confused how to get over to that weather machine thing. And we can get up to here! The highest point in Possum Springs in this game! Well, you've just done it! Big May is awesome! <sighs> Kinda boring up here, though. Roof Cat is correct. Roof Cat is Cloud Cat. So, I'll see you around, Roof Cat. I wonder if there's else to do in here. Like, maybe some trespassing stuff. I don't know why that entered my brain. Trespassing stuff. What the heck? Maze rubbing off on me. Yeah, there's a window open up there. Yeah, before we uh, finish today, we need to find out what that open window is all about. Eh, lots of stuff in town, as I told you. This is actually a pretty fun segment. Just go ahead and sneak on in here. Let's just grab the open air. That's how we enter buildings. What is this place? Eh, looks like parade stuff. It's the Spring Parade. It used to be the Spring Parade. And they canceled it. Someone almost got killed by a float. Fly, be free, Mallard! Ugh, this is getting graphic. He's probably legless, and Mallard is probably put down. Nothing in the spring anymore. You gotta wait till the fall when all the block parties start firing up. At least they don't have floats. Desecrated pretzels! Well, what do you expect? They're gonna bring in fresh flowers? For the dead float? Poor Mallard. Also, there's an exit here. A locked exit. That is a problem! Except that uh, nobody is in here besides us. Yeah, that is not an exit. That is a dead trap. You're a liar, exit door! We're gonna bring an axe. That'll probably work better than your boot. Easily the worst exit. Heck with you, exit. Oh no, Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. This is the tomb of Mallard. Oh, she had something to say there. And she has babies! He has babies! I, I mean, what? It's a miracle! It's Immaculate Conception, May. Ah, look at them! They're rats! Ah, who's a cute rat? 
They're better than bats anyway. If there was bats in here, we would have to kill them. Oh no, they're starving! Oh, we're adopting these rats. We're gonna get food for these rats. They make funny noises when you squeeze them. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Please don't eat each other. All right, what did you have to say about Mallard? There he is, Mallard P. Bloomingrow. May's favorite thing from the spring. And they're treating it like dirt. I guess it's also his maternity ward. There's May's little eulogy from Mallard. Yeah, those jerks. Forgotten! Betrayed! He will be immortalized in this video. We'll visit. Not just because of the rats inside you, too. Alright, see you around, Mallard. Now we gotta go take care of Mallard's babies. Mallard is a neglectful parent. But what, what, what can we feed rats, though? What can we feed rats? Uh, there's not much in town that we could grab. I mean, there's this pawn shop there. I don't think we could go hunting for animals for it. Do you got an idea, May? Because I'm fresh out. Oh, hey, Fisher Deer! What's up with you? That's more poetry for you! Do, do you happen to know Selmers? Horm. Ah, you need to work on that a little bit. It's Horm. Honey, I'm Horm! And the Miracle Rats are here too now! You need to do something about Miracle Rat. And no, this is kind of a hazard, ain't it? It's flooded. That means it could flood it more. And then it'll take the trolley side news with it. Yeah, pierogies are good though. Old wet dank pierogies with state funding. So we got pretzels here. Do um do rats eat pretzels? I guess they would. I did see a pizza rat in New York. So so what are you gonna do? You're gonna pay for it, right? May, you, you got the money out, right? What are you doing? Are you going to steal a pretzel? So don't move, he's like a T-Rex. It's psychology. Even when you're holding the thing you are stealing and they look at you, they can't see it. Alright, May's gonna show us how it's done. This is how you, you get a... Uh, three-digit discount. You have to just keep an eye on him and, just, like, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, just when they're looking away, just grab Pretzel. Oh! Oh! We didn't stop moving in time! Hey! How you doing? Ah, oh, darn! You know what? I'm gonna try this again on a later date. Or I could just, uh, you know, restart the game because it auto-saves. But that's what happens when you get caught. I was able to do that without getting caught my first time through. I, I guess I was a little bit too uh, bold this time. I, I mean, May was a little bit bold this time. I don't steal! Also, what was May saying about trolleys? I was busy talking about other things. What the heck went on here? Next time on Night in the Woods! Vandalism!